All right, welcome to Leads 101 here this evening. We're gonna teach you how to find and work with unlimited prospects on a daily basis, contacting leads. So let's go through a little bit of Leads 101. Today we're gonna to cover how to learn the rules of the game. Would you agree if you're gonna play a game or if you're gonna play a sport or you're gonna do a business, you wanna learn the rules of that sport or that game before you start playing. So we're gonna teach you the rules tonight. Number two, we wanna help you understand who's the right fit for our company. Because sometimes I could be talking to a prospect till I'm blue in the face, but I'm not gonna get through to them because they're probably not a good fit for our company. So we wanna help save you the time and the heartache by helping you understand that ideal prospect. And number three, we want to teach you tonight how to use the five-step recruiting system to bring them on board. And then we're going to go to an incredible lead panel with some of the top lead recruiters on the team here tonight. Can't wait for you to hear from them. So let's go to the rules of the game. Let's talk about this. Now, I want to tell you that when it comes to calling leads, you want to sort through the many to find the few stars and you will build a large team. All the big leaders on the call, would you agree with me that it only takes a few stars to build a huge business, right? It is so true. And so when we're digging for gold, as AJ Delabro likes to call it, digging for gold, when we're calling leads, we need to understand the rules. The first rule is the 90 day rule. It takes an average of 90 days to harvest each batch of leads. So please understand, as long as you have a new batch of leads coming in every month, you'll start to sign up new people every month after your first 90 days first of planting those seeds, of planting those Chinese bamboo trees, right? So associates who are new to leads though, let me warn you, Okay, if it's your first time contacting leads, you tend to forget about this 90 day rule. A lot of new associates call me, they get so, so discouraged and they wanna give up right when they're about to recruit someone and didn't even know it. They were three feet from gold. This is called the 30 day or 60 day crybaby because it takes time. It takes time and practice to learn a new sport or a new dance move. And every, it's like clockwork. When I put a new associate on leads and they, and 30 days goes by, I get a call. It's not working. I'm making the calls. I'm reaching out to the people. It's not working. I'm not getting anywhere. Okay, so understand 90 days. And you're going to hear from someone today who was contacting leads consistently every day for 90 days. And what happened? It's going to take practice. Okay, so stay encouraged. Be willing to laugh at yourself and give yourself time to learn this million dollar business. Would you agree? Okay, rule number two, it's a numbers game. Write that down, it's a numbers game. Amateurs convince, but professionals sort. Out of 100 leads, I'll typically recruit two within 90 days out of 100 and another two in the future. So eventually four out of 100. Some people have better averages than I do. Some people have less. But you can't put a price tag on a recruit. You could put a price tag on a membership. When you sign up a customer, you get X amount of dollars. But when you recruit a new associate onto your team, that new associate can introduce you to thousands of people, build a huge organization. In fact, today, we have an organization on our team that started with one gentleman, one gentleman who now has a team of 7,000 associates. And we probably earned close to $800,000 in overrides from the one gentleman who built that team of thousands of associates. So is it worth it? Yes. Okay, but it's a numbers game. That means if I'm gonna get two out of 100 immediately, and two more later, that means that I'm gonna to have to sort through 96% of the people who tell me no, or get lost, or I want a salary, or I don't have the money. 
or I just want to do data entry, or my spouse says no, and the list goes on. But the two people you recruit now and the two people that you recruit later from this batch could be stars in your business. In fact, one lady I recruited who was a lead now has the entire state of Rhode Island in her organization, and that's where Precious Montero came from, right? So Millionaire Club member Larry Smith, does anyone know Millionaire Club member Larry Smith? He was a lead that Michael Dorsey called. Does anyone know Millionaire Club member Danny Katoa from Hawaii? He was a lead that someone called. And I think someone recruited them from their batch of leads. Don Brinkley was introduced to Legal Shield by Lisa Vega, who was a lead. You just don't know where the stars are gonna come from, both Lisa and Don, huge stars. And you can't put a price tag on recruiting someone, remember, okay? The ROI could be unlimited. Now, let's talk about who is the ideal candidate for us. See, there's all sorts of different people you're gonna call. But let me give you a quote by Simon Sinek. He said, the goal is to do business with people who believe what we believe. The goal is to do business with people who believe what we believe. So there's several different types of prospects, okay? There's one type of prospect that says, I'm just looking for a data entry job. There's, there's other people that say, I don't like sales or I don't like speaking to people. And although we still wanna show them the details, these types of prospects are ultimately, they ultimately make better Legal Shield members than business partners, okay? So you really wanna find someone who is currently working or has income. Why? Because this is a business and a business takes time to plant the seeds, just like the Chinese bamboo tree, right? To plant the seeds, to cultivate and harvest. And um, it takes money to make money, would you agree, right? It's a business opportunity, it's a business that you own. A McDonald's franchise costs a million dollars to own a, mil a McDonald's franchise. Most people had income coming in before they bought a McDonald's franchise, right? So you, an ideal candidate is someone who's, who has the income to be able to invest in a business and um, the small overhead that we have of a website and a membership. Isn't that incredible? Like Bob, I know Bob, you're a huge entrepreneur, owned a, a you know, multi-million dollar business yourself and overhead of $24.95 to have a website. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> With your whole tech package and, and, just, and to have a legal and ID shield plan. I mean, incredible. So we're really grateful. The ideal candidate for us is someone who wants a better life. Someone who's looking for more. Someone who wants more freedom, flexibility, income and satisfaction. Maybe they're a hardworking parent, but they want to work from home to be home with their children. Someone who's open to being an entrepreneur and take the next step of success in life. They're open to learning about leveraged and residual income and learning about that excites them. These are people who are willing to exceed social security for unlimited income. We have a lot of people that have joined the team that, that are on social security, but they want something more and they're here and they're learning and wanting to have unlimited income. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Such a beautiful thing. And it sounds smart to them to have a business and they would like to learn leadership skills so they can grow and have a better life. This is the person worth following up with forever. Oh, and they have to like people, okay? Because we are the people business. So I have people that are like, I'm like on a scale of one to 10, after seeing the video, you know, how well do you see this fitting for you? 10 being the most. And they're like, I'm a two. I really don't like people. And I'm not going to sit there and try and convince them, okay? <laughs> so then there's the five-step recruiting system, which is number one, showing them a tool. You want to show them a tool. And we're going to give you the scripts on how to get the tools into their hands. You can send them a video to watch. You can invite them to a Zoom that happens every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on pinnaclezoom.com. Or you could show them a quick little flip chart, which 
usually I just text them the flip chart and it only takes three to five minutes to walk them through it and ask them on a scale of one to 10, on a scale of one to 10, how well does this fit what you're looking for, right? Then take them to the next step, which is a three-way call. What did you like best about what you saw? You know, I'm so glad that you said that. The next step is to meet one of our top leaders who can answer all your questions and they can share with you more about the program. Now, all of these scripts are on our team website, which I'll show you in a minute. Then step number three is to show them another tool, right? So if you started with a video, now invite them to a Zoom. If you started with a flip chart, invite them to a video. It doesn't matter what order, as long as they see multiple tools. Because the secret to recruiting is a series of exposures, a series of exposures, not just one exposure and they're in. It's a series of being educated about this business until they're comfortable making that decision that they say, I want to do this, I can do this, I like it and I'm ready to get started, okay? And you can do all this in one day. In fact, I have a girl um, who just got started today. She saw the flip chart, put her on a three-way call with David, got her to watch a video, went to the Zoom, and she said she was ready to get started. So you could, you could do all of these steps in one day or you could do them over seven days, or you could do them over seven months. But if you learn to compress the timeframes and take people through the steps, you can get to the yes a whole lot faster. Okay, so then you want to invite them to a live event, which is now a Zoom happening every day at 5 p.m. Pacific on pinnaclezoom.com. And then you can invite them to training, like Desiree is here tonight. She came to the live Rhode Island business briefing. Now she's here tonight at the training. And you can invite guests to come to the training. We, we've got nothing to hide. We love our team family. We want them to see the culture, the community, the support, the love, the personal development, the growth, the recognition, the training, all that exciting stuff. You can invite them here after they've been through all these steps first. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is share with you where to find leads and where to find the script. If you go to the winning team dot now dot site, um, at the very top, Hold on a second. Okay, at the very top, you can go to leads. And um, Dave, can you see if we're still recording? I can't tell. Okay. Yes. You go to leads. Okay, here is the script and the manual. So if you click here, you'll be able to see everything we went through tonight. The rules of the game, who we're looking for, and the five-step recruiting process, okay? And then you'll also get the scripts of when they answer the phone. Now I know different teams have different scripts. So be sure to ask your leader, like if you're on Team Flex, you're gonna wanna get their secret sauce. They've got awesome scripts, amazing scripts, okay? Um, and, but this is here as a framework to help you, okay? So it's all here. Now, Dave, I know Dave, was calling leads today. Do you want to talk about that? Yes. Why don't you come around? Oh, okay. I want to uh, show the text I've been sending out to people. Is there a way to make me yep. the co-host? I'll share. Okay, beautiful. Now I'm going to share it. So I found a text where leads are replying back and booking times to meet with me. That's interesting, right? So um, here we go. Start broadcast. So you can build leads doing texting. That works. Something that uh, many different associates have established. So this is something I've been using. So this text right here, and we're going to put this in the uh, chat for people to copy. And it's on the script. It's it's on that lead manual. This this one specifically? Yep. Okay. Um, it gets the reply back. So it says, hey, thank you for your online interest in working from home. We're looking for leaders who can get passionate about our mission and want to change the world for better. I look forward to meeting you. Could you please call or text a specific time when you'd like to speak for a couple minutes? To greater heights, David Lakey, Legal Shield. And people have been flying back with the time. I'm available anytime before 3 p.m. 
And I replied back, great denario. And I sent him the video to watch before I called him. He said, I live in Illinois. Okay, I'll call you at 1 p.m. Okay. And he's somebody that's been engaging me. I have a whole series of texts with him. So there you go, booked a meeting from one text. I'll just show you a couple more examples just from today. Um, go back to all messages. Okay, here's another one. Same thing, hi, Demetrius, thanks for your online interest. And he replied back 8 a.m. and gave me the right phone number to call him at. I gave, great, call you then. Cool, booked another meeting. Now they may not show up all of them, but still, this is the best reply I've ever gotten from, here's another one from today. Hey, Cindy, and she says Monday at 10 or Tuesday at 10, call her back. Cool. So this is just texting, guys. So if you're new, you can text this out. Find a time to call and get your leader to call back with you, and they can take it the rest of the way and actually engage and have a little pre-call discussion and then get them the tool. Um, and then look at this. I sent the same. This will be the last one I show. Hey, Wanda, thanks for your interest. And she goes, David, I'm working late. Everybody on Wednesday, I won't be home until about nine tonight. I'll be back here early tomorrow morning. If you want to try after nine or after 5.30 p.m., that, would, that works great. I've never gotten details of response like that. So something about this text is working. Any yeah. comments on that, Liz, yeah. as to why? Well, it's definitely, it's in there. And if you'll put it in the chat, that'd be yep. great. And um, so it is in the manual. And it just works. If you do the activity, it works. So, right? The what do they say? The luckiest person happens to be the busiest person. <laughs> so, okay, fantastic. And then wanted to let you know where to find leads. So on that same page on the same winning team site, you'll see. Um, if we go back um, under leads. You'll see that you can get leads here on this lead site. And by the way, if you're a leader, just so you know, uh, when you get leads from this site, it helps us provide free sample leads to your associates on your team that you want to introduce to leads. But the lead company made a really special promotion for all of us because they knew we were having this call here tonight. And here's how it works. You could try 25 leads for a dollar. You could try 25 leads for a dollar. And here's how it works. You're gonna get five new prospects a day for five days. And then on day seven, they'll continue your order. If you want to continue your order for the regular price of 50 leads for $85. So you would have gotten a total of 75 leads for $85, not that. But if you don't want, if you don't wanna be charged the 85, just cancel your order before the seventh day and they will not charge you the 85, and you will still get to keep the 25 leads that you paid $1 for. So to get that special promotion, be sure to click this link. And again, we're at thewinningteam.now.site slash leads. Just so it's, uh, it's time, we'll go back to Dave in the end here, but it is time to turn the floor <laughs> over to these amazing lead recruiters that we have in the organization. I am going to go out to the road, uh, state of Rhode Island first. Well, first I wanna tell you, you're gonna hear from the amazing Precious Montero, the beautiful Ebony Farrell, and the powerful Linda Torres here tonight. Some of the top recruiters in the world of Legal Shield here and on LEAD. And so I'm gonna go out to Miss Precious Montero who will first uh, talk about what her and Ebony are doing, and then we'll go out to Linda. So Miss Cloutier, or I think, is she, are you in the middle of something? Oops, oh, you can't unmute. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, can you do on the other device? Okay, this one breaks up. Got it. All right, here she is. You are all set. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, so, Ebony, I'm, I, I have a few questions. So, to help you all out here, because I know the main question is, is after we get to our friends and family, right, then what? That's the main question everybody want to ask, because uh, eventually, 
your friends and family is going to deplete. So what do you do next? So I have Ebony here, um, which I'm going to ask her a few questions so you guys can get an idea of someone who haven't been doing this for long at all. Um, Ebony, if you can just share with everyone, how long have you been in business? I've only been in business since January. J January. All right. So she's been in business for about nine months now. Um, also, how long have you been working on leads? I've been working on leads since May. So about two, about two to three months, right? About two to three months. Yes. Now, what was it about leads that you was like, oh, I want to do something differently because friends and family sometimes... <laughs> don't work out the way we wanted it to so what what was it that you was like I need I need to do something differently well because I felt like the people I knew weren't taking me seriously so I figured I would change my train of thought and my the way I was looking at things and go towards leads where people that want to have it want to get a job will actually you know respond to you more than somebody that you're trying to help get a job mm. Okay, okay, okay. So let me just ask you. So as you know, Ebony only been in for nine months and I'm gonna just, um, Ebony, I also wanna share this story as well. Ebony is not the story of fast off qualified in 20 days. She's not the story of hit manager in 45 days either. She actually didn't receive her first paycheck with Legal Shield was seven months, seven months in the business, okay? Cause we all know if you don't fast off qualified, everything is paid as earned until you get promoted. But this is the thing about Ebony, what she did not decide to do was give up. What she did not decide to do was quit. She decided to do something differently. And that's what brought us here to the leads. Now, um, Ebony, when did you start um, noticing results? I started really noticing results maybe like in July. Really, August is when it really started picking up. But you know, I always get the results. It was, it's not that I don't get the results. It's just, I, people, it takes time. So you can send out one week, two weeks, and then a month later, and it ends up being somebody from a month later or two months later. And then there is some that, you know, that you get that one day and they're ready to go to the live. They're ready to watch the videos. And so, you know, it, it varies. Okay, so um, how many leads have you recruited since you just started really doing leads back in May, about 60 days, almost 90? Um, how many leads have you recruited so far? So I recruited two, and then I have about maybe four that are ready. So that's what I'm working on. And this has been really since, what, August? These are people that are leads from August and September. So I'm going to be honest with you all. I've been doing leads for quite a while. And when I saw Ebony do them, I think what is changing now is the pandemic. This is what's changing now. More people are open to work from home opportunities. So more people are responding back. She recruited two leads in the same day, one in New Mexico, one in Texas. We have one that's um, going to be Desiree, who's on here, that's going to be joining tomorrow. She's in Oklahoma. Then we got another one scheduled for Friday um, that's going to be getting started as well. So another thing that's important, um, are you calling or texting the leads? I am not calling. I am texting the leads. It's easier for me. I tried the call and a lot of people don't. It's not that some people might answer, some people don't answer, but I've seen that I get more results when I text. More results with texting. So it's okay to text, guys, especially if you're all with calling, you can text. Now, I, I think most of the people want to know, what are you texting? Well, what I text is, um, first thing I text is, hi, my name is Ebony. We haven't met yet, but you requested some information online about your interest in working from home. I would like to send you some information about our program, which you prefer email or text. We're also having a live overview tonight on Zoom. If I get you a spot on, will you attend? And I get responses from that. So Ebony actually do it both ways. She's kind of gave them an option. Would you like a video? Or would you like to come out to a live event? right? Those who would like to come out to a live event, she invite them on to a live event. Those who would like to 
uh, watch the video, she have them watch the video. Now, <laughs> this has been shocking to me because she has book. I have done probably at least four three-way calls for the people that watch the video. She sets, she scheduled a three-way call time to, to speak to her sponsor. So make sure you're doing that, setting a three-way call time with your expert. She put them on the phone with me and I kind of basically just closed the deal. I asked them all the right questions. So you can give them the option. Um, for me, basically, I always go for the live events and if they're unavailable, we go for the training. But not only is Ebony sending them out a video, um, or I invite them on to a live. If they can't make neither of them, she's booking a one-to-one -one with me where I will sit on Zoom and go over the information with the leads. So that is another way to do it as well. Just book a one-to-one -one with an expert that's going to go over the information to ask them questions. Um, oh, the next question was, when do you book a one-to-one a, a -one or a three-way? And I kind of think we went over that. She only books a one-to-one -one with me a three-way with me, unless she know they saw the information. There are leads actually texting her on her days off on the weekend saying, when can we meet? It's, it's absolutely mind blowing. I never seen the ratio as high as it is right now. She had three leads on tonight, three leads on to just tonight by just sending that text and people are actually showing up and people are getting on the phone. Um, just to give you guys, um, a story uh, about a young lady, uh, Christina, who's supposed to be getting started. Is it tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow on the calendar. I think it's tomorrow on the calendar. Um, she, Ebony, put her on the phone with me, and I asked her, you know, questions uh, about herself. Now, as Liz mentioned, we're not looking for everyone. We're not looking for, to try to recruit anyone either. One of the things that Liz mentioned as well is that they have they have to have a job. But there's some people that don't have a job but have some source of income coming in. So you want to be able to ask them, you know, if they don't have any job, what source of income do you have coming in right now? Listen, we had a young lady that said, I have someone that's willing to help me. <laughs> and I, 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 I would do whatever it takes to start this business. And that's, that's really hard because we have people that have the money and don't invest. Then you have people that don't have the money and willing to go get it. And so... It's just important that you put them on a three-way call and um, with the, let the expert do the work for you. And that's how she's really just been closing leads. She's been booking the one-to-ones. She's been sending out the text message. I would say the video is kind of the last resort she does if they can't make it out to a Zoom. But more importantly, um, she's, she's getting people in front of the information. And I think... I don't know, Liz, there's something else that I'm missing or that we should add that people need help with, but that is basically what's going on. And I have recruited um, one, two, I have recruited at least three leads so far as well. So the leads do work and sometimes just, you know, following up. One thing that Ebony said, um, Ebony, what, what, what's one of the things that you mentioned to me? The fortune is in the follow-up, right? Yes, keep following up because they do forget. And with everything that's going on out here, some people, their Wi-Fi is messed up. They're good. They've just, it's a lot of life events have been going on and they are really interested. Just keep, just don't think they're not interested. They really are. It's just some life events have really been, you know, a lot lately. And just to add the two recruits that she just recruited both registered for Phoenix. So look at that. <laughs> so even I would say, ask them if they want to go to Phoenix too. You just never know that they both purchased that ticket. They haven't even made no money yet, but they see the value in this company. They want to go far. And just like they said, don't quit on leads. Don't quit. And I think now more than ever is the time to really focus on leads and bring them phones because more people are responding, more people are showing up and more people are signing up. And Liz, I turn it back over to you. Woo, amazing ladies. That's incredible. Congratulations, Ebony. My chat is blowing up. Every, Ebony, everyone wants your script. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind copying it and pasting it into the chat. We would just love that. And just so proud of both of you ladies in yellow tonight. I missed the memo. Beautiful. <laughs> 
All right. I'm so excited. And you know, there is something going on in the water with leads because um, we're having a lot of success. I, I recruited two leads and Dave just recruited a lead and has one more that's ready to go in the last, you know, two weeks. And I, I think it's people are back. Kids are back to school, right? People have a little bit more time and people are realizing that this pandemic is not ending anytime soon. So they're really wanting to give that plan B or find a way to work from home. All right, let's go down to Orlando, Florida. Let's hear from this incredible woman that is just on fire. She has been a consistent lead recruiter for years. And let's get on the back end, Linda. So the girls talked about the front end, kind of what to say, how to do interest and show um, what tools to show. Let's talk about follow-up. How many times would you say um, it, it took you to, you know, contact someone before an average person is ready to sign up and especially leads. Yeah. So great information, precious company and great success. That's so exciting. I didn't know you both were wearing yellow too. <laughs> so funny. So a lot of great stuff that you share, but uh, one of the things you do have to do is follow up a lot of people one or two times and they're like, done. I'm done with that person. But you know what? I've recruited people literally years down the road um just be, and sometimes i forget about him i actually had one gentleman i actually sent him a lot of information even went to sit down with him said ah oh, that's not for me a year later comes back and he got involved and he went to manager so you never know so don't you know just write anybody off right sometimes people can be rude and sometimes they can just like today i had a lady she goes oh, i'm not interested i'm like Okay, so you change your mind. Well, I tell you what, um, when you're ready, I still send you something when you're ready. I would love to just send you something. She's like, okay. So I kind of turned her around a little bit. Like, I was a right for her to go click. But she goes, okay, well, I send her some information, right? So the follow-up is truly, truly fortunate in the follow-up because um, literally, um, it depends on the person and, and what kind of responses I'm getting back. But normally, at the very minimum, four times, you know, I'm not getting anywhere, I move on. But there's some that I have a list of sometimes nine times. But remember, it's not every day, every day, every day. Remember, it's over a long period of time. Sometimes, you know, I'm gonna show you, and you're gonna be crazy about what I'm gonna show you. Here's a stack of leads. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see how many are here, right? So once I go through a pile, a day, right? A big old pile. I do at least the minimum 20 to 40 a, a day, right? If I have the time. Once I do, it goes on the bottom, right? So it might be days, it might be weeks, and sometimes it might even be a month because I'm still having new leads coming in. So, you know, today is like, oh my gosh, I've hardly called a couple of these people only twice. I have a long ways to go with this person. Don't get frustrated because it is a process. So here's the thing about leads. You have to not get discouraged. And I'll tell you, I got discouraged today, but I, they, I took a break and I went back at it. And that's what you have to do, right? Here's another thing I do. I have affirmation. I have affirmation right here on my, on my desk, right? So, or you got to grab a good book and read, right? So first thing I do in the morning is got to get your mind in the right mindset. You got to have affirmations because you are going to get rejection or people don't answer or they're going to be rude. So remember, it's you got to not you got to kind of wear a vest. It's not you. It's something that's happening in your life. You don't know, what, especially with everything on with the world right now. You don't know what's going on, right? So I turn that lady around. Obviously, something happened, and she's like, "Oh, I'm not interested." I'm like, "Okay, no problem. Could I just send you something for maybe later?" And she's like, "Oh, okay." So you don't know what's happening. Just be nice and be, um, you know, that's the word I'm looking for, um, comfort. To them right so sometimes you just reach out and say that's no problem you know hope you have a good day let's connect later i did that to a lady the other day and she's like oh thank you and then she texts me back okay i'm ready right so always just remember just have patience it's the biggest thing but keep on following up because life changes right and this world is changing constantly and I don't know if you guys know, but there's 91 million people unemployed. And there's not, I've seen more jobs coming out 
but no one wants to go to work. I find we run into professional people that are hiring people and they're like, they won't show up. They even call and say, oh, so I can't even make it. They don't show you that because it got used to being home, right? Getting used to them having that check. So hopefully that check ends. So more people will be looking, right? But truly don't give up, but go through your warm market first. Because, you know, they are your main people that are going to support you. But sometimes family won't. Kevin, my husband, comes from a family of loving siblings. We showed every single one and said, you know what? It may not be for you, but we never want you to say, you didn't show us this, you know? And thank us we did. Because one time his sister called and was crying on the phone. We're like, oh my gosh, what happened? She's like, thank you for this membership. She's a single mom, three kids. Her son was, you know, getting a lot of tickets. She goes, oh, oh my gosh, you have saved my insurance because he doesn't have, he has a clean record with Legal Shield. So, you know, those are things that you feel good about. But sometimes once your family doesn't see it, move on, right? Because they'll come back, right? They're like, oh, I got a ticket. I'm signing a contract. Something happens, they'll come back, right? So here's the thing. Just keep on loving people where they're at. That's all you can do. And stay focused on following up. And um, I, I see that great smile, precious eyes. And you can feel that when, you, when you're when you talking, you can feel the energy that precious has. I don't know about the texting. It might be hard to feel the energy, but still let them feel your energy. Let them know your compassion. Let me know, say, no problem. Let's, let's connect another day. I mean, I had a mom the day was screaming kids. I'm like, you know, it's okay. We'll talk later. I understand. We all have kids. No big deal. And I can send you something you can look when you get a chance. So just have compassion for people. Anything else, Liz? I think that is so well said, so beautifully said, Linda. And what I would have to say that, that Linda's gift is she is pleasantly persistent. She is pleasant. She is always so polite, so sweet. But the well, girl- Let me show you. Let me interrupt you. Consistency. <laughs> so I just found out I got the two a day challenge right so that's what it is is being consistent you get recognized right even if it's not recognizing i make sure and my workout partners partners on here so every day i'm trying to do two not some days i don't get it but don't beat yourself up tomorrow's a new day all right sorry liz i had to show that Ooh, congratulations linda you know the company's got this great thing called the two a day challenge and they're challenging everyone to share legal shield with two new people a day add two new people a day to your prospect by legal shield app who engage in watching something so two people that click and watch a small percentage and um if you do your two for the day you have two engagements which some, means someone watched a percentage then your name goes into a drawing and they're giving out a free gift every day so can't wait to hear what you won linda that's exciting. Precious, did you want to add anything to that? Yes, I just wanted to add, um, because based on what Linda is saying, um, don't give up. And because I will literally call like 10 people and I'm like, oh my gosh, like all 10 people not going to answer their phone today. But then I tell myself, it's always the 11 person. It's always the 11 person. And literally, it's the 11 person that answered that phone and says yes. So I would say just continue to go through that. And another thing that I'm doing differently with leads, because I call them first and then shoot them a text message, is that when I get them on the phone, I bring them through an interview. I ask them questions. You know what I mean? I want to know why you're looking to work from home. I want to know what are some of your strengths. Ask people, what are some of your strengths? It'll make them think, right? If they say, oh, I love sales. I love helping people. I love you know what direction, you kind of already know what type of person you're going to be dealing with, right? So I would say when you're talking, I love getting on the phone with leads because I build a report and we end up with a connection where I kind of feel like I know them and they kind of know me, where I think that's also another reason why people are showing up because I built a relationship with them. So make sure when you get on the phone with leads, I know there's some people that train, you know, just send them the information. No, build a report because people work with, people they love, like, and trust. So ask them a question. Remember, this is your business. So you want to ask people the questions and you want the people that you want on your team. So I would say, you know, when you are calling leads, don't be afraid to ask, what do you do for work? Um, how long have you been working there? What do you consider some of your strengths? If they're not working, I ask people, were you laid off due to COVID, right? 
And if so, what were you doing? Just get to know them. And so Liz, I just wanted to add that and I'll turn it back over to you. I love it because what Precious does is she's interviewing them. You know, when you're new to calling leads, it's easy to get intimidated and think, oh, these people are interviewing me. Like they're trying to decide whether they want to do my business. No, we are trying to determine if they are a good fit for our business. So this is your company, you're the CEO. This is your team that you're building and the leaders that you're opening the door into your business home, into your company, right? So you've got, you have got the gift that you're handing out. You're the one interviewing them. I'm excited for all of you. Be sure to check out the lead script, the manuals, the rules of the game, the system, and the lead link at the winning team dot now dot site slash leads. I want to thank Precious, Ebony, David, and everyone who contributed today. Congratulations. Welcome to all the new associates. Welcome and congratulations. 